Hi, everybody. It's November 10th, 2020, and you are listening to the Patia News. I'm Adam, and here's today's stories. So what we're going to cover today are some of the top stories from yesterday, as well as things that are currently going on. Now, the biggest story, which many of you may have already seen, and you can also find on our YouTube channel, hint, hint, um, from yesterday's videos, is an incident in which a protester who was calling for a pro-democracy and specifically the removal of the prime minister, Prayut Chanocha, and as well as the changing of the constitution in the country, this protester was with many other protesters on Jamtian Beach uh, near the police box in 7-Eleven near Soy 1 earlier this week. Uh, they were having a small rally when the protester got into a verbal altercation with a foreigner. Now, allegedly, the foreigner said some things that upset the pro-democracy protester. However, he then went ahead and decided, after getting angry, to headbutt the Russian foreigner in front of his 10-year-old half-Thai daughter and his Thai wife. Now, we do have some more details on what happened after this incident. Uh, The protester, who we will call by his Thai nickname, Ken, was arrested, um, and the Russian man did go to the police station as well to give his statement. He was not, however, arrested, as based on the video footage, police found that despite him perhaps saying some infuriating remarks, that was not exactly illegal, and he had not been violent. Ken, however, did have to pay a reported 10,000 baht in terms of a bail money and was released. He does have a future court date, according to the Patia police, although that exact court date was not given. Ken gave his side of the story, as well as the protest organization, and said that, according to him, the foreigner came to the protest, and at first the verbal altercation began, you know, rather innocently, but it went ahead and elevated, with the foreigner stating, allegedly, this was not caught on video and the Patia News reporters did not actually capture these statements, so we cannot independently confirm that these statements took place, but that allegedly the foreigner said that the protesters were the cause of the economic problems in Thailand and allegedly called the protesters trash and a virus. At that point, according to Ken, he lost his cool as he found those to be very rude remarks and in a fit of anger he did unfortunately headbutt the foreigner. They have, however, apologized for the incident and stated that it did reflect poorly on what they were looking to do. In other news yesterday, we also talked about the fact that, like every year here in Patia, the air quality is once again starting to become a little bit smoggy. Now, what we would like is your opinions, both in comments on this YouTube video, or you can email us at patianewseditor at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. What do you think about the air quality every year? How can we fix this problem? It's one of the biggest things we get here at the Patia News is... The air quality is poor in Patia. Now, many people had hoped that this year we would not have this problem, uh, mainly because there's no foreign tourists here. There's no Chinese tourists everywhere on tour buses. There's no traffic clogging the streets. But the problem goes deeper than that. Uh, According to analysts and experts that we've spoken to, The biggest problem is the way that sugarcane fields are burned every single year, not just outside of the Patia area, but through all across Southeast Asia, which draws up huge amounts of smog. As always, we want to hear from you. The next story is actually what you're watching in this video above. So what you're seeing here is Patia police as well as the Ballyhai Marine Patrol going ahead and inspecting earlier this weekend all the boats and area Bally High Pier for safety standards. Uh, now, we expect over the next couple of weeks a lot of domestic tourists coming to Padia. As we've discussed in other videos, we've got fireworks festivals, music festivals. They are doing everything they can to try to go ahead and get ties to come to Patia because foreigners cannot. So meanwhile, Patia police are ensuring that there are no problems down at Patia Bay, down at the pier, checking boats and checking COVID-19 safety standards as well. As always, we want to thank you for listening to the Patia News. If you want daily updated news videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button by clicking on the Patia News icon in that lower right hand corner. Comment us. Let us know what's going on. We want to hear from you as your local community news leader. Thank you.